Yes, hello champions, this is Elias Mohozi. Delighted once again to speak to you this week, share with you tips on how you can grow your network marketing business. If you're new to the channel, please make sure you subscribe so that we, uh, we, we share with you weekly tips on how you can grow your business. And please ask your team to subscribe. I'm also the author of this wonderful book, The Master Key uh, to Network Marketing Success. This is a French version, but we also have the English version. And those of us who are in places where you cannot get it in different bookstores or from myself, please make sure you go to Amazon and uh, uh, be able to get our English version. The French is not yet on Amazon, but I hope that very soon we shall also be able uh, to have it signed up on Amazon. Uh, this week we are going to share a very interesting topic and the topic is when your business goes down, what do you do? Are we together? So when your business goes down. Now, I'm so sure that um, especially those of us who have been building our businesses over time, you've built a business and for some reason or another, the business comes down. And this is the point whereby many leaders quit. Many leaders panic. And it is such a very bad scenario whereby you are making very good money. And before you know it, your money has come down. Your team has quit. They're no longer motivated. What do you do? Many people go in panic mode, many people you find them quitting the industry, many people you find them trying to reinvent the wheel, trying to be able to get several things. I want to suggest that over the years I've been into network marketing, I have one answer towards that, that when your business is down, renew your commitment towards the basics, that your business is down because you're not doing the what? The basics. Don't think that you need any kind of magic, you need to, any special skill, maybe there's something you don't know how to do. No, 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 no. The game has not changed. It's the same basics. And if you have to notice, all people have built very strong businesses. Some people in your company who are the top earners, one thing for sure, they have been very consistent on the, on the basics, on the basics, on the basics. Every time your business is down and you ask a mentor, someone who is actively building business, most likely they will be able to share with you the same things that are within the basics. So I want to encourage you that when your business is down, renew your commitment towards the what? The basics. Now, what are the basics? To begin with, uh, when your business is down, go back and get back your tools, your business building tools. And among the tools that you need is number one, a name list. Ask yourself, when was the last time I updated my name list? Or do I need a new name list? What I, maybe that is more inspiring to me that will be able to open my eyes to people. I want to suggest that all the time I've written a new name list. I go to my phone book and I think about uh, maybe I get a memory jogger. Even when I'm so many years old in network marketing, there is still a prospect that comes in my mind that I had not presented to, or someone who maybe it is appropriate to present to them again. So every time my business comes down, or I feel that I need to renew my commitment, I get a, a new booklet. I don't throw away the old name list, but I write a name list. And ideas begin to come of people who I could present to and they join my business. The other one is a presentation guide. like. Have a presentation guide. Sometimes, if your business is down, you may you may not actually be having a proper presentation guide. Then the other one is spare notebooks. That when you are presenting, you have a new spare notebook. Uh, then we are also going to talk about a notebook. Why a notebook? Is that when your business is down, it's time for you to learn. That every time you go for training, have something jot down because uh, it could be the same old things. But every time you write them down, then you you realize that actually maybe they are obvious, but I'm not doing them. Uh, the other one is uh, of course. Um, um, especially us as team leaders. The other tool that I would encourage you is a personal projector. If you have a sizable team, there is no excuse for you not to have a projector because you cannot go be going to different seminars and presentations and you have nowhere to present to. So when you have a personal projector, it encourages you and encourages your team that when you go for outreaches, you actually present with a projector and of course a laptop. So as a person whose team has reasonably grown, there is no excuse for you not to have a projector and a laptop because that's what we normally use to present the business. Um, then the second other, other, other basic is inviting. Renew your commitment to inviting. And inviting, still, it's the same things. That Don't think about a new method of inviting. Don't try to invent the wheel. It is inviting. Hello, Arnold, Elias Mohoz here. I invite you for a presentation that you can be able to, uh, I want to invite you for a presentation where you can learn how you can be able to live healthy but also grow your income. For example, that's a way to can, you can invite someone. Hello, um, my friend Martha, Elias Mohoz I want to invite you to a presentation. Meet my business partners. We normally share 
uh, 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 on how we can be able to grow our finances on a part-time basis. Please come in. Hello, uh, Rina, Elias Mosey. I'm looking for a guest to take to my lunch presentation or my uh, business breakfast meeting. And I thought about you because the kind of people that I'm going to meet have the same character like you. And I know you are a person who is looking, uh, who is uh, interested in, in entrepreneurship. Like basically it's the same things. So uh, don't try to reinvent the wheel. Then the other one is um, prospecting. Prospecting, but what when we talk about prospecting is about asking the prospecting questions. They are the same. Don't think that because you have been three years old in the business, the game has changed. No, it has not changed for the last six years. It's the same questions. Hi, Elias, how are you? If I showed you a business that you can do part time, would you be interested? That's a prospect question. Hi, Martha, how are you? How is everything? Are you open to seeing an opportunity where you can earn an income part time? You, you get the point. So basically, um, um, it's the same questions. It's it's just that you have to ask them to new people over and over again. Just increase the numbers to whom you said inviting uh, messages or to whom you ask those questions. Like, don't reinvent the wheel. It is the same thing. You just have to renew your commitment towards prospecting, towards inviting, and increasing the numbers. Reach out to newer uh, communities, to new friends, to new people, especially through the name list that we have talked about. Now, the other one is presenting. Still the same thing, but I want to suggest that presenting is only possible if you have set appointments. In my one of my previous videos, I talked about setting appointments that without appointments then you have no business so make sure that before you sleep who have you set an appointment with to meet and present two products to meet and present to the business the following day whom have you set an appointment to follow up so basically always sleep with appointments of the following day then you will present otherwise you don't wake up in the morning to look for people to present to uh -uh, prepare the people you're going to present to today then uh, the people you're going to present to today you should have been prepared to all given them appointments the, for, the previous day or the pre-previous day. Like basically, always set appointments with people and you'll be able to present. Uh, the other um, basic is training. That when your business is down, it means there's something you don't know or there's something that you are overlooking that you should be able to learn. So renew your commitment to training and also to personal growth. Get a good book on network marketing. One common mistake networkers do is that when my business is down, they get a motivational book on another topic. You know, you understand? No, 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 no. Don't get a book on just personal growth. Get a book on network marketing. Now, you're going to get motivation from that book, but also importantly, you're going to get skills to build your business. It's not important for you to be motivated without skills. That's why I encourage networkers, read books on network marketing. We are very good at personal growth. We are reading books on different topics, which is not bad, but if the only books you are reading are about attitude, you're reading about public speaking, as if you're going to become, I don't know, a public speaker, you're reading books on um, other topics, I've not said they are bad, but the majority of books you should read should be about network marketing, which will be able to give you the motivation and the skills all together. So it's very, very important that I've gone to many networkers' homes and they have rich libraries, personal growth, seven keys to whatever, different things and all that. But particularly on the topic of network marketing, there's none of them. So these are motivated people, but without skills. So someone is motivated, but there's actual skills to build the business are not there. Why? Because they are reading on other topics and not on network what? marketing. Then the other one is um, using products that when your business down, then use the products. Using pr products is one of the basics. Remember that when you use the products, it renews your commitment. It renews your enthusiasm. It renews your excitement about the products. So it's very important that you use the products. I personally use the products for my company and I use them every day consistently. And I'm very confident about them because I use them. Uh, then the other point, which is number seven, another basic is to dress smartly, dress code. That every time your business is down, please make sure you dress as smart as possible. Be excited, look nice, smell good. That will encourage your down lines, but also when you leave home, when you leave your house and you feel that you are smart, you are smelling nice, you are well, you know, um, maybe your hair is well combed, your nails are well cut and all that, you feel good about yourself. And once you feel good about yourself, it's very easy to approach others. But every time you don't feel good about yourself, you feel you're not smart, you feel you are hiding something, maybe
maybe the shoes are not clean and all that, generally, you are more timid to present to people. And actually, you cannot present to high quality people when you feel timid about yourself. So if you want to have that enthusiasm, that natural excitement to talk to people, then you must look smart, you must look nice. Uh, dear champions, I hope today you have enjoyed the tips on which uh, on how you can grow your business. And I know that uh, you're going to subscribe to the channel, but also ask, ask your uh, friends and your team, team leaders to also subscribe to the channel because I'm delighted to, uh, to be able to mentor you. Network marketing industry has made me who I am. And this channel is meant for me to give back because I know there's someone outside there, maybe someone I don't know, who is going to listen to some of these tips and they're going to grow a very, very big business. Let us give back to our industry. May God bless you. See you at the top. Power.